so first off i'm going to sleek down my edges and this is my gel from sds gel it's very very good to sleek down edges so that's what i'm going to use today can you all see how it's just sleeking it out mm -hmm. i like it too i really do yeah so can you see how the edges are laid Go get yourself this SDS gel and it's very, very good. I'll put her link down in the description box below so you guys can go check her out. So moving on to today's tutorial, we are going to do a review of the Beth Mian Beauty eyeshadow brushes. Yes, eyeshadow brushes. That's what we are going to do today. So I already went ahead and I used the flat brush to conceal my under my eyebrows and this is how it is. There are five in all. There are five brushes in all. This is how they all look like. And I can't wait to try them. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal my eyelids so that we move on to the next step. So first off, I'm going in with this brush right here. It looks like a crease brush. And I'm going in with this shade right here from the Yoshe palette. It picks the products very, very well. Oh wow, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh my god. I'm in love with the brush. I mean, this is a you know a dupe for the Evita Joseph brushes because if the Joseph brushes are you know high end in Ghana and then the Bethany Beauty brushes are you know drugstore, so they are all of good quality, but I'm in love. The way it blends, it's just so seamless. Oh, wow. Okay. So, moving on to the next thing, I'm going to use this um, precision brush because I'm going to pack a lot of color at one particular place. I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here and I'm going to pack it on the outer V area. I'm really loving the brush. I'm really loving it. And I'm bringing it to the inner corner part of my eye. I don't know what eye look I'm going for yet, but I think uh, I'm going to go in with a halo. That's what I think I'm going to go in for. So seriously it's really blending so well very well okay so moving on i'm going in with this um with this brush right here it doesn't really have names written on it so i'll say that bethman beauty the next time please try and put names on it or numbers on it so that you know it's best so that we know what we are doing with it and whatnot you get it so i'm going in with this black shade right here and i'm picking the shade with this brush and i'm going to pack it on to the outer v area and the inner v area as well yes that's what i'm doing so i think i'm going in for a halo look okay so going back in with the brown shade this shade right here i'm going in with the precision brush again and concentrate it on the you know crease area more yeah i'm really loving the brushes i really am loving the brushes so to go ahead and cut 
my halo i'm going in with my 24 hour mac studio fix concealer in the shade a68 nc42 yes nc42 and i'm just placing that on the middle part of my lid and you know what they have a flat brush so that's what i'm going to use to just carve out my halo right here in the middle area so the next step to do is to go in with my halo shade and i'm going in with this gold color right here which is aura and they have uh, a fluffy flat brush that's what i'm using to pick and i'm applying it right on top of it Ooh, yes i mean what more can you ask for yes i love the way it's turning out you know i really love the way it's turning out so i'm going back in with a little bit of the brown shade in my crease area and also to blend the black and the gold color together i love it I really do. I really do. So I'm going to finish up this eye and then okay, I'll Okay, now, right so back. I'm back and I'm going to contour my nose and I'm going to use the precision crease brush and I'm going in with this shade right here. I'm going to use that to contour my nose. Oh my God. I think I overdid it, but it's going to work well. This brush is a multi-purpose brush, you know? I tell you, it is. Just look at that. Look at how my nose is snatched. It's really, really snatched. Yeah. So for my under eye, I'm going in with this brown shade right here. And I'm going in with the flat brush so that I can get much more, you know, products down there. Hmm. Can you tell the difference between this eye and then this eye? it's really good i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it at all okay so now the next step is to go in with a highlight inner corner highlight and i'm going in with this champagne shade right here and i'm using the brush that i used for the gold shade over here that's the brush that i'm using it for and y'all look at that y'all just look at that i mean aren't i ready to just step out you know i'm ready to step out so i'm going to use the crease definer brush and i'm going to use that to apply my highlighter so i'm going to use this champagne shade over here I'm going to use that on my nose area. And the bridge of my nose. Okay, now let's see if it'll. Ooh, I need to buy just one of this. Just one of this to apply as my highlighter shade because it's really popping i tell you it is oh my god because the color box one is bigger for me so i'm happy that i've got this one to apply it over there i give up i'm done i'm done i'm done anyways my lashes are from lashaholic and they're in the style um 
it doesn't really have a name but this is lashaholic that's the style that i have on i've changed it up a little bit you know it's not from q lashes or eye hair so that's what i have on and i'm looking so okay bomb. guys so my final thoughts on the brushes are first of all i used the eyebrow pencil in the shade coffee to do my brows and i did the whole you know um shading with the concealer to just draw out the fake hair so that's what i did and it's looking so bomb so talking about the brushes it came in a pouch and i'm very happy that it came in a pouch that you can you know it's very tight it's a ziploc so you know it's very easy to just you know keep them inside it came in it like this and so the brushes hmm the only thing that I I would say that I'm not happy with is that it doesn't have names on it. But because I've been using brushes for a longer time, so I know which brush is for which part of the eye. But if you're new, you know, you might have a little, you know, a little difficulty with it. But it's nothing too much to worry about, okay? So my favorite one is this crease definer brush okay it was able to blend well in my crease and also apply my highlighter on point and everything is looking so good i'm happy and the next one that i'm happy i think i'm happy with all of them but my favorite one is the crease definer brush okay so i'm going to give these five brushes a big thumbs up and i'm going to say you should you should go for it um they were having sales and i think it was going for 48 ghana cds but i think it's going back to its price i don't know i'll put it down in the description box below so that you guys can go check her page out and also go and purchase it i'm really 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 in love with it i'm so happy that i tried it out and i'm going to recommend it for each and every one of you to go and try it out okay so i'm going to leave you guys here i don't really have anywhere to go but i'm looking so bomb you know just to slay for you guys so i'm going to leave you guys here and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this review so let me know what you think down in the comment section below don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>